Okay, hi everyone. So uh, before I actually turn in for the night, I just wanted to actually go um, just make another video, just a quick one uh, about something that came across my mind. And uh, yeah, because uh, I probably have told y'all uh, in an earlier video about the um, psychic attacks and then things that uh, will always come back to you. Um, I mean, they'll come and haunt you somewhere. Uh, sometime after the discard so um, but by that aside I was just thinking because most of us after discard we just end up getting so angry so um, the issue of whether you know like um, why and whether we should act on the um, desires for revenge against the narcissist uh, is actually something that keeps on uh, playing up and uh, I was just wondering that uh, because most of us are always uh, in the process where after this card we start um, desiring a kind of revenge and I know it's very common because uh, I have had a friend who was uh, telling me some nonsensical I mean it, it seems nonsensical but you know, when he told me that thing about uh, wanting to take revenge on his ex by <sighs> yeah, I mean that 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 was actually the words of a gay friend who actually told me that, and I was like, "Huh, are you crazy?" Like wanting to have, uh, you know, the revenge sex thing, like wanting to sleep with the new supply of his ex who was narcissistic, and I was like, "What? Are you crazy?" And he was like, "Kevin, have I gone crazy? You know, like you're not the only <laughs> non non gay friend who has actually been." Um, telling me that and 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 um, that I shouldn't be thinking about that. But if you think about it, um, I mean, I I don't judge people for what they've been thinking, but uh, it's not very healthy. And I I admit that I myself I want to do this to like some of the former narcissists in my life, whether it's a uh, either whether as a romantic uh, date or whether as a friend or whether as a boss, former boss. Uh, it's not very healthy because by doing so you actually give them a lot of power and you really really actually shouldn't be thinking or even I mean you sh you might want to think of doing that doing that taking revenge in one form or, or another it, not, it might not be physical revenge uh, in terms of violence but um, but doing so is only going to get you into a lot of trouble because to actually get into the state where you were to take revenge on someone as evil and uh, you know cruel as a narcissist you have to be as bad as them or worse and uh, you have to you know mute your conscience and I don't think anyone who has uh, empathy who has a smidgen of conscience would even try to do that because it makes you sink to your level to their level yeah and uh, of course, uh, I mean, sometimes it's good to actually laugh at the ridiculousness of the narcissist. And I think that one of the few things that I did after the discard um, was actually, when was it? It was um, actually one, about one, not one month, one year. It was actually less than one year. It was about eight, about eight months or so. Yeah, after one particular narcissist. I just remember that that one narcissist in my life was like uh, a crazy person and I was like oh I have some clutch on the person uh, and uh, yeah I knew that the person was uh, into some stupid fetish and decided you know uh, on that time after the after you know the Chinese New Year celebrations I just post I posted uh, under a ghost account uh, pictures that I gathered of that uh, crazy knock, yeah, on uh, a, 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 a Tumblr account that wasn't really mine and commenting, how can a person claim to do that kind of shit, like a BS, and then claim that he, he or she wants to sue people for actually uh, putting all these pictures there when, when uh, all those pictures are out on the internet. <laughs> Not, nothing is really private once you put it out there so uh, it was a funny thing and I, I, of course I got a chance to laugh at the ridiculousness of all this the ridiculousness and the stupidity of all this narcissist but 
Um, the, the question was that, uh, of course, there was this one particular narcissist who was always criticizing me when I was actually <laughs> participating in, a, in, a, in one of the page, uh, fitness pageants uh, or some modern pageant like six years ago. Uh, I, won't, I won't name the name of that pageant, but uh, for my friends who knew about it. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, oh, after like five, so five years after we stopped talking, now you wanted to compete in it and... Uh, you didn't win anything of or maybe you just got kicked out for something I I mean some reason or another. But uh it was funny because um you know I remember telling my um some other friends, say, Oh wh wh why are all these people just uh claiming to sue people? Because I mean you you, you can claim that you want to sue people for for violating your <laughs> privacy or whatever, but uh your your the videos of you doing all this weird stuff and, and everything can be found on the internet. You can get a lawyer to sort of uh, go against uh, all these people, but the, the, I mean the fact is that the, in the first place, you shouldn't even be putting uh, those things out there. So uh, yeah, I mean the, uh, don't 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 get don't get that. And I think if you were to be like a real empath or a real like neuro a real normal person who is neurotypical, uh, don't sink to their level and just remember that uh, you know. All narcissists will always eventually screw up themselves, and uh, you know one friend of mine was telling me um, this friend of mine who's Russian and who's actually uh, uh, currently back in Russia despite uh, everything that's going on in in their country. Uh, I mean, I met her in Seoul. She just told me <laughs> I was telling her about all this. She said, "I think that these people are going to get into trouble. They 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 keep on posting all their you know exploits on social media and everything." I said, "Well, I won't speculate, but I believe that it is." You know, almost either has it has arrived or it is going to come soon. So, uh, yeah, just just ditch, ditch that effort and uh, focus on yourself. Okay, so um, yeah, that's it for the this very short video about uh, thoughts of revenge <laughs> on the narcissist. It's a really good time. I mean, temporary time for me to laugh at, and then of course, uh, I kind of. When I think back about what I did, um, I'm I miss I must admit that it was kind of a, it was done in a fit uh not a fit of rage but just a moment of anger and realizing you know I I just can't I can't get over the fact that all this all these douches and all these asses are just out there thinking that they have won the I mean the world and and when I mean it's like it's me against the world for them and they think that they're gonna win everything and uh no. <laughs> All the world, including people who don't even know, who don't even know you well, uh, are aware of the silly, nasty douche or bitch that you are. Okay, uh, only the only ones who want to be on your side are your flying monkeys, and they don't even get a very good outcome or from following you. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, I hope everyone has a good night and uh, yeah, I'm going to actually make another video it's about something about the uh, yeah, the projection techniques that, that narcissists always use. Uh, uh, wow, that was really particularly funny, but uh, I'll do that later. I uh, hope everyone has a good night. Bye-bye.